Hey, Red Edition, welcome, happy day. John Wayne once said, don't apologize, it's a sign of weakness, but I gotta share some stuff with you. Our site, it crashes all of the time, it seems to me at least. Maybe to you too, we get all kinds of people writing in, so I wanna say, I'm s s s s s I can't say it, I I'm s s you know, I'm sorry, hey, but we're gonna fix it. The good news is that we're getting so much traffic that the site does crash a lot, particularly on weekends. Thank you very, very much for all your support. And know that your frustrations are gonna be fixed because we got a man on it and everything is fine. I'm baffled, I'm easy to baffle, I'm easy to confuse, but hey, let's think about this. A liberal, he goes to hell. Where does he tell others to go then? Hey, just asking now, a feminist? What's a feminist? I hear the term so much, particularly in Canada, the prime mistake in Canada says he's a feminist, the uh, leader of the official opposition, when asked by a Maclean's magazine reporter whether or not he was a feminist, his reply was, absolutely, I'm a feminist, and I'm wondering what that is. Okay, so I've had to look into it. To me, it kind of sounds like your wrist is a little bit loose, don't you know? So I did some research, and here it is. It's about equality, maybe. The prison population, though, is mostly male. Do feminists want half of that action? I don't think so. Men die several years before women. Do they want part of that action? I don't think so. Should males hit the female dominated jobs like running daycare centers, nurses and school teachers? Maybe they should have children. How are you gonna pull that one off? I mean, this equality thing, I'm a feminist. A feminist treats women as helpless victims, far from empowerment, Feminists are communists, I think, <laughs> stupid ones at that. In Canada, 75% uh, of all women do not refer to themselves as feminists, 75%. More than 90% of all men say, are you kidding me? I am not going to call myself a feminist. A survey after survey shows that virtually all Canadians of both genders oppose that label feminist. I don't like feminists very much, right? But yet the prime minister and the leader of the official opposition walk around saying, that's what we are. <laughs> I mean, really? You guys got to kind of get with it. They're trying to redefine things, okay? Stop it. Be a man. I remember men were men and women are glad they were just saying, talking about Canada again. And you know what? I get it. Our viewers are around the world. More than half of our audience is in America. And then we have various places in Europe and other you know, parts of the world that watch our show. And, and I'm just talking about Canada, but it could come to a country near you. So thanks for your interest. Keep watching and hope that all this stuff doesn't come to you. Before the gunplay in Germany, Adolf Hitler went against his own people. He turned them also against one another. This isn't about boom, -a boom, -a boom, boom. This is about, hey, I'm going to change the structure. And if you have a house and you want to change it, you can knock it down, but you also have to get rid of the structure underneath it so you can recreate it in your way to have your vision, right? That's what happens. And back to Hitler, his was a culture of control. He wanted to change how people feel, how they think. Then he controlled the media by funding and owning them, owning the media. It became illegal to defend your life. Then he disarmed legal gun owners. When Hitler took power, just a third of all German households had radios. He ordered radios to be made and distributed to the masses. He said, I want everyone to have a radio. Guess what he called the radios? This is a little bit spooky. Smart radios. <laughs> Who knew? That was back in the 1920s, right? Smart radios. So everybody had a radio, and then he controlled the message because, of course, he controlled the media. He took over the cinemas, the movie theaters, the movie making. He went against his own people. Uh, and then Jews, sure but they were Germans too. He went after his own people. He owned the propaganda of the day. Does any of this sound familiar yet? Does it kind of sound like the CBC? Does it sound like a prime mistake? Pretty spooky stuff. Oh, but don't worry about it, boomy de boom That's not happening. Hey, you don't know what's coming next. Gun control, people control, and a fact doesn't control any of this. Because if you used a fact, you wouldn't have all the stuff that these people are doing, I mean, making us against each other in different regions and tick the oil out of here and do this and that and everybody's mad at everybody. It's not very nice and, and it's going on in Canada, it's going on in a lot of different places, but y'all need to know it. Socialism, the moment it is. Communism is just socialism in a hurry and then, and then you have this globalization and everything else and, and I, it's scary when you look at what's happening. Okay, it's like somebody is making a pie or a big pot of soup and they're putting stuff in there that you know is harmful. And that, they keep stirring away, and you know that they're going to poison everybody, and that's happening in Canada. Socialism, you make it, they take it. Hey, y'all come back tomorrow. We'll have more for you from the right. Oh, oh, solution? We need a solution. That is, 
don't get your hands in the soup. Hey, like Chinese cook once said, use noodle up here, not noodle in soup. See ya.